I just wanted to make this quick video for anyone interested in becoming a drone pilot. I had to do a bunch of research to figure all this out and I thought I'm just going to make a video for other people who might be interested. So first of all, you buy a drone and then you have to register the drone. And so you are either a recreational flyer or you're going to be part 107, which means you're going to make money at it. So recreationalist, you're just doing it for fun. You're just, you know, hanging out with your buddies and flying it up to see what kind of stunts you can do. Part 107 means you're trying to take photography, do videos, uh, make money on YouTube. So if your intention is to make money, you're going to be part 107. If you're just going to play around, you're recreational. So step one is register your drone. All you got to search for is drone registration. You'll find this site. This is through the FAA, the Federal Aviation Association, I think. Anyway, it's only five bucks to register your drone. So you come here, you decide which one you are. Okay, and it tells you right here what you need to do. If you're going to be a recreational, you need to take a simple online test called the Trust FAA. It, I've heard it is very, very easy. I haven't taken it myself, but evidently super, super easy. But if you're going to make money, you've got to take a more advanced test to earn your remote pilot certi certificate. And so um, looks like they have a link to something. I've never even checked that out. What this is, it's probably for training. So I um, researched training and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so going to be so expensive. I'm going to have to spend like $1,000 to get this training and what have you. And then I found this. This is free part 107. So you're going to make money as a remote drone pilot. I found this guy. Now this video is two hours long and you'll have to watch it a couple of times, but he covers everything and he gives sample test questions. Okay. And then he has these study guides here. So if you're like a self starter, you know, and you've got the discipline to stick with this, I mean, it's a lot of stuff you got to know. This is intense. Although the guy that does this study guide, he said actually when you get there, after you've covered all this, it's not that hard of a test. It's actually, there's only, um, it's multiple choice, three choices. One of them will be obviously wrong. So you're down to like two choices. And as long as you've reviewed all this stuff and understand it, because there is some map reading and stuff, um, you're going to be fine. So I haven't taken it yet. I'm still in the middle of watching the video, but I just wanted to share all that with you guys. I will share these links down in the um, description. I just wanted to make it easy on somebody who's out there trying to figure this out. So good luck.